Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the last one, we saw the web driver architecture. Now let's see, you know, what all we need to start working on web driver or to actually create scripts for, for Selenium web driver. So Selenium web driver would be needing three things. First, a Java, a Eclipse, and then a Selenium. So we would be, for this particular, you know, for our practical session, we would be using Java 1.8. Eclipse would be Neon and the selenium the latest selenium available from the site that is selenium 3.0.1 this all you know this a complete package would help us to automate the test scripts that we need to design now let's quickly go to our screens and download them one by one and get started with our environment setup or the installation setup for selenium web driver for this installation we would be needing to download the java the eclipse and selenium libraries onto our local machines right to set up the development environment so for that i request you to kindly open up your browsers in your browser let's get started with the very first component that is the java let's download java onto our machines so i get started i go to the oracle website and i have to download the jdk to download the jdk this is the you know oracle's website asking me to download i accept the uh, terms of condition of license make sure you are accepting these conditions because after these only you would be able to you know uh, get started with the installation of uh, java or you know, the downloading of java onto your machines depending on which you know which operating system or which version of product you are using like if you are using linux you can go for linux or for mac you can use mac but i would be using right now is windows x64 which means a 64 bit version of the windows right so i download this one it's asking me that are you sure you want to save this file i click on yes and it has started downloading java onto my machine till then java is downloading i can you know continue to download other softwares as well now let's get started with the downloading of eclipse so there are two ways in which we can download the Eclipse. The first one is when we download the package individually or when we download the entire Eclipse, right? So uh, the this is the Eclipse installer which you can use, but let's not uh, go into details for this right now. Let's simply go to the Eclipse ID for Java developers and download the 64-bit version. This would download a zip file onto your machine, right? So here's the, here's the option I've got. I click on save file and I click on OK. Right? Now, after the downloading of Java, the Eclipse, I now download the another one that is the library for Selenium. So for this, I, we, I go to the official Selenium site that is seleniumhq.org and downloads. Here, I would be using Java as I've already told you. So I download the Java. The version is 3.0.1 client and I click on download. It would be giving me a zip file of 16.3 MB and I click on OK. Now after this the last component which we would be you know needing it in further sessions is the Geeko driver download. You don't need to worry about Geeko driver right now. I would be explaining you what Geeko driver is but yes for now you can simply download this particular version and it would be you know uh, explained later on when we work on this one so this is the file that we need i click on this and i save file and i start the downloading of the file right so with this uh, i simply navigate down to the folder where all these files have been downloaded and start the installation of these files one by one so this is the folder where all the files have been downloaded. I get started with the installation of JDK version 8 update triple one onto my machine. It's asking me that, are you sure you want to allow this application to make changes to your device? I click on yes. And with this, I continue the, the installation process for my Java. So it's asking me to click on next where I, what all are the components I need. Not much things would be needing. You just need to give the path where you want to install your Java and what all components you need to download or install onto your machine. So 
so till the time Java is installing, uh, what we can do is we can get started with the installation of Eclipse. Nothing much you need to do for Eclipse installation. You would have downloaded a zip file like this, right? Simply right click this one and if you are using 7-zip, you can extract here. What we need is we actually have to extract this file over here. By clicking the extract all option, this file would be automatically extracted and would be shown over here. So I simply click this one. I click it extract to here. Right? So after this, you would be getting a folder like this, which would be having the following components. So this is my Eclipse. On clicking this link, the Eclipse would automatically start up, right? Before this, let's also unzip the Geekwood driver and the Selenium Java 3.0.1 that we downloaded onto our machine. So after this, you would be having an Eclipse, a Geekwood driver and Selenium for Java that is 3.0.1 available onto your machines, right? Now let's see where our Java installation is in progress. It's almost done. Uh, guys, make sure that you have installed Java because Java forms the basics for your starting or you know your uh, for your Eclipse needs Java to run basically itself. That's why we need we need to make sure that you know we are using or we are having Java available onto our machines, right? If in case you want to check that if the Java has been installed, quickly go to your command prompt and here type Java, right? So it should be giving you that yes, see the availability, it is available. Now let me type which version of Java is installed onto my machine. I write Java. So Java 1.8.111 version is installed successfully onto my machine as you can check over here right so now after this let's go to the eclipse folder and start by clicking on the eclipse icon so this is my eclipse neon uh, neon eclipse that we are having is the latest version of eclipse available for our machines right now right now we need to pass the workspace which or where you know where I have to uh, keep all my belongings or all my, you know, stuff like that. So I set up the workspace into the Selenium. In setup, I have made a new folder as... Now, what is the workspace, guys? See, like, guys, workspace is nothing much but uh, the very basic component, you know, wherein you keep all your belongings together. You know, like, uh, if in case I talk about, you know, your homes, you might be having wardrobes wherein, you know, you have uh, things belonging to a particular category placed together, your books are placed together, your clothes are placed together. So in a similar way, what I've done is, for, uh, you know, Eclipse provides me a functionality wherein I can, uh, you know, create or uh, have a workspace which would give me a space for a particular, you know, functions or a particular group of programs placed together. So I name it as workspace for selenium right i click on this and i click on ok so this is where you know my workspace has been set up i click on ok so it would take a uh, you know a few minutes or you know few seconds to uh, start up the eclipse based on what all version of eclipse you are using or what is your memory available how fast is your machine and you know what all tasks you are performing in the background after this, it would give you the landing page of Eclipse, which we also call the welcome page. So it's welcoming you to the Java Eclipse ID for Java developers. We write like this one, and this is all we are supposed to do as of now. So I have my Eclipse in place. I am having my uh, Java installed. My drivers are there. Now, what we would be doing is we would be actually, uh, you know, having a script running on the selenium in the upcoming session but as of now this was the process for installation if you are having any you know misses or you have missed something you know you can just traverse back and understand we don't need much we just need few basic components first one being a java after the java you need your eclipse then your selenium uh, library and then your geek code driver as of now all the entire process of uh, you know installation 
uh, is not much just install Java first and then you come up with Eclipse and that's all for now after this what you would be doing is we would be actually setting up the entire you know uh, entire our workbench in the next session wherein we are having a proper web driver or the first script for the Serenity web driver so thank you guys for tuning in stay tuned as we take you through the other sessions